So it's been roughly four months since Intel first announced its brand new family of high-end desktop Skylake X parts, and just over three months since the company introduced the first batch of Skylake X parts into the market, and which were based on the low core count die featuring up to 10 cores. And it's taken Intel a little longer to roll out its higher core count Skylake X parts based on the high core count Xeon die, which many have speculated were actually never planned for the desktop, although AMD's Ryzen 3 Red Ripper launch has seemingly forced Intel's hand after all. The i9-7980XE's only job is to dethrone the 1950X, which is currently the most powerful processor you can buy. The i9 also happens to feature two more cores than the 1950X, so go figure. The Skylake X parts will officially launch next week, the 25th of September. These include the 14-core i9-7940X, the 16-core i9-7960X, and the 18-core i 9 7980XE. And although it has always been the case with these launches, someone somewhere out there managed to get their hands on Intel's Big Daddy chip early and proceeded to benchmark the snot out of it. And we've got the numbers here for you. While there's more posted on the site along with the sources linked in the description, we're only going to take a look at a few in the video today. Up first is Cinebench R15, a favorite of AMD's. Here the 7980XE matches other Skylake X siblings in single-threaded performance, but delivers nearly double the multi-threaded performance of the 10-core 7900X and outperforms AMD's 1950X by nearly 37% showing a single thread result of 196 CB, which is oddly similar to the recent i7-8700K leaks. Catch those over there in the corner of the screen there. And a massive 4204 multi-threaded score. And that is huge for a consumer CPU. Now moving on to 7-zip, which is a purely multi-threaded test, although there are two components up to evaluate compression and decompression performance. Compression tends to favor Intel, while decompression tends to favor AMD. The scores here shown fall in line with these figures that we would normally see in the combined test, which includes compression and decompression. Here the i9-7980XE outperforms the Threadripper flagship by no less than 30%. Which is quite impressive. Now of course the last synthetic test that we're going to take a look at in the video is the 3 d Mark Firestrike and naturally we're only looking at the physics score since we're talking about the CPUs and not the GPUs. So we're not worried about graphics or combined performance, just the physics. Now the Core i9-7980XE scores just over 32,000 points. That's the highest score we've seen from any desktop processor ever, earning it a 17% lead over AMD's flagship. There's nothing to sneeze at, folks. Well, there you have it. As it turns out, a $2,000 CPU is, well, really fast. Go figure, who would have guessed? <laughs> now whether it's worth that hefty price tag or not is a subject to debate, however. And as always, remember to take these numbers with a grain of salt until full proper reviews are out. So please don't put too much stock into it, just enjoy it and let's talk about them. The NDA is expected to release as of the 25th and at that point we'll see official numbers. If you found this video entertaining or informative, feel free to leave a like and a subscribe. If you have anything to add to the conversation, feel free to leave those comments in the comment section, of course. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next video.